Hey everyone, welcome back to another Scoop of the Crispy. We are playing Assassin's Creed 3. We've just talked to General What's His Bucket, and he said, You need to go. We're gonna try to take care of Pick. Pickens? What's his name? Um, we gotta go take care of a guy. It's in the middle of uh, the, the conquest. So we have to fight through everyone. So we have to use cover to avoid damage. We're basically trying to assassinate a guy in the middle of a giant war. So let's do this. Aye. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of hard to cross the battlefield without taking damage, okay? So cool. I checked out the game in 3D, and it is really, really awesome. So I would highly recommend that. I would have been recording in 3D, but you guys won't be able to see it very well. Go. Wait, what just happened? What just happened? All right. Obviously, that is not the place, the right place to go. So, um, okay, let's try this again. Cover to cover. So what just happened? Cover to cover. So awesome. Being an assassin in the middle of Oh, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Oh, go hide. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, oh, get the blood off. Get the blood off. Ooh, ooh. It's totally gonna stain. Are you bad guys? Why are you red? Why are you red dot? Heal. Heal, come on. The animus is breaking. I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. I can't heal myself. What just happened? can't heal myself because that doesn't exist in this game, I don't think. Oh, my horse. Good idea. Horse. I'm hurt too bad. I am hurt too bad. There you are. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Go. Oh, man. I don't understand when I get hurt really bad how I'm supposed to avoid that. Luckily, the load screen isn't too long. I think they anticipated instant death. Okay, go. Man, what the heck? You just shot me. Is my life gonna fill back up? Come on, come on, life. Dang it, life, you're not filling back up. Who is shooting at me? Oh, that entire giant hill full of guys. Oh, I get it. Wait for... There it is. Now you go. So you have to wait for that entire hill. See so it goes. So they all fire. There it is. There it is. You have to wait for the entire hill. Explode into explosions. <laughs> Hello. No, I think I made to just run. Yeah, Connor Connor's learned some moves. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Come on. Don't be shy. Get him, yeah. 
Seriously? Oh. Crap. You guys are mine. I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. How are we supposed to find a forest with all these trees in the way? Seriously, guy, you're getting real annoying. There you are. I don't have time for this. I gotta go save the... Oh, assassinate the guy. Okay. Time to climb up. The side of the cliff. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. He said let's do this. That officially means we are doing this. Okay, climb. Right next to the... Oh. Getting close to the uh, end of the memory. See, I... Um, I know commentaries can get annoying, so that's why I try to limit it. Try to give the best kind of a commentary I can. Because I find that if I don't talk, it's just boring. It's just like, well, I'll just play the game if I don't want some commentary. A war we do not wish. And why? John Pick... Pick... Pit... Pit... Crin. John Pick... Crin. Pick... Hide! Hide! Why aren't you crouching? Crouch! Crouch in the bushes! Okay, so... This is gonna be very interesting. Seriously, dude. That was so annoying. Go for him. Go. Let's do it. Oh, what? He has, like, a lot of life? Good crap. Oh, man. Ow. Get him. Get him. Oh, man. This is gonna... This is gonna take a while. Here's my blades. Oh, this is ridiculous. I totally have to whittle him down. Since when do I have to actually fight? This is... Ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not a, this isn't called Warrior's Creed, it's called Assassin's Creed. I'm a, I'm of the class, the Assassin class. Good, that was, that was a good one. That guy's pretty tough. Oh, crap. Warning, life low. Please get help. There is no help in this game. Oh. Oh. Hey, you just slapped me. You just would slap me. There, I'll do that back to you. I'll keep hacking at you on the ground. Yeah, that was a good one. Hey, don't pull your gun out of me. How dare you? Yeah, come on. Here, hit him a couple times in the head with it. <laughs> hey, no. We got him, we got him. Oh. Hey. There, now it's just me and you, buddy. Me and you. Got an axe that I can just keep bashing your head in with. Just hacking at you. Just hacking away. Yeah, right in the back. Right in the back. A couple more times. Here, get him while he's down. There it is. Woo! That's what we call Warrior's Creed. An assassin kills in one kill. You don't have to keep hacking at him. That was just mean. Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. Parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. If you put an end to that there. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. 
They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do you not think we ask the same question of the British? These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. But we should live forever on castles in the sky. Castles on the cloud. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now. Because of that. We're gonna finish the war, don't worry. It's better to have faith in something than none at all. Fine, we'll deliver this letter. Oh crap, I gotta get out of here. And there we have it. John Pickgren is dead. How dare you sneak up on me like that? Why don't you just go off there and just help this cat retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. I have a letter. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. Ah, Boston. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? I found this on Picarin's purse. This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. Uh-oh. George Washington! Maybe Mr. George Washington will change your mind. Or how about a Lincoln? Or another George Washington? It's loading. The Animus is kind of, takes a little bit for the Animus to, to load. Get going. There you go. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, awesome. something soulless. And he is an obstacle. <laughs> that is so cool. Him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. Tread lightly, kind sir. We'll tread lightly. We'll walk on eggshells. Back to the homestead. Davenport Homestead. 1776. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. You can't have one without the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do. But I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years oh, of burn. And knowledge I have Roasted. bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Burn. That was good. 
just uh, give me back all that stuff. Or you could training. just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men, one more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. <laughs> Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, Hickey. and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going oh, to New York. Oh, New York. Yeah, we're going to New York. Awesome. All fast travel stations found. Cool. All right. Well, that is going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time as we continue on with Assassin's Creed 3. We will see you on the next Scoop of the Crispy.